Hello everyone, it is I Reverse and welcome back to some more Knights and Dragons and today I'm going to be talking about two things that are upcoming very shortly and they're very exciting news and very uh, people are looking forward to these events very much. Uh, the first thing of course is Gwen's Conjuring, our most epic chest yet on the 30th of April. I'll be talking very briefly about that, what I think is going to be in the chest and after that I'll be uh, revealing to you guys what are some of the leaked images of the new epic bosses that will be coming around the corner very shortly. And um, if you guys do not watch to, want to watch that, rest assured, I'll be uh, telling you guys when I'm about to talk over that so I can warn you guys that there's a spoiler alert coming around very shortly. So first of all, we'll be talking about the epic chest that will be coming out tomorrow. So um, I'm actually thinking that there will be a couple of things that might be the, the case with this chest. Uh, what I believe in that it might be a 5, 6 or 7% chance of getting a legendary or an epic. That might be a, a possibility here. I don't think it will be above that because that you know people already would have a reason enough to buy this chest anyway. So they wouldn't go above that. Um, also, also I really would like it if it would have a guaranteed epic. Like an older epic. Like for example a Druidic Blade Mill or a... Uh, or a Blazeborn, for example, or, or at least something like that. A fusible epic that is guaranteed with this. Uh, uh, that, I think that would be pretty nice, but I don't think it should be a Sandstorm or a North Nurse or uh, something like a Beastmaster or something like that. That would be nice. Uh, I know people would really dislike it, but I think it would be nice to have a guaranteed epic for a change. So th I think that might be a possibility. What I also do think that is going to be a possibility is the fact that um, there will already be an epic in this in this chest, right? Because they're highlighting the word epic. So that already shows me that there will be an epic in there. Um, what I also think that might be the case is that they are going to introduce an additional epic alongside this epic. So I think that's going to be very nice if we actually see that. I'm very curious to see what it's going to be. I'm not entirely sure if this are going to be the cha changes, so don't take my word for it. But we'll, we will actually find out about that tomorrow. And if it's interesting enough to talk over it, I'll dedicate another episode to this chest tomorrow. So that being said, I'm going to be moving on to the spoilers that I'll be showing you guys. So if you guys do not wish to be spoiled with anything happening in Knights and Dragons in the upcoming future, in terms of epic bosses or armors, please... Click the video away now so that way you are not getting spoiled and hate me for spoiling things for you. Uh, and if you move on, don't tell me I didn't warn you. So that being said, I'm going to show you guys the images of the boss and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about that. So the order I'm going to show you guys these images in are going to be the epic boss armors first and then I'm going to show you guys the epics that will be coming out very shortly. Uh, and first of all, before we actually get into that, I need to give a special mention and credit to Slasher Arnell from the wikia because that guy is absolutely amazing he actually takes you know actually looks in the database of knights and dragons and then he finds these um tiny pieces of armors that are spread out because they're if they're coming in the data package in the actual game it doesn't show as the armor itself it's not like there's an image of the armor no it's like the parts are separated and he's like puzzling them together to show what kind of armors they are and really great job there you got you have actually been doing it before for knights and dragons you have actually been doing that for the uh, boss C creepy crawlers event i believe as well so that's absolutely amazing keep up the good work and if by any chance you are going to do this again in the future feel free to leave me a pm about it and um that way I can inform my viewers as well on the new epic bosses. So, let's get down to it. The first epic boss is going to be the second horseman in the row. Of course, we already have Pestilence, which is absolutely insane. But the second one is going to be War. And War is the, uh, the it's the horse of War. People were always afraid of War as well. It just as Pestilence, diseases and everything. And War, the armor looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't like the weapon, by the way, but I'll get to that. So, what I really like about this is the shield. The shield looks absolutely sick with the... the with a little sword on top of that. It's absolutely insane. Uh, the fire is like burning in there. It already shows it's an earth type with a fire type epic boss. Earth basically because of the greenish look and the... Um, I don't know if it's hair coming out of the helmet, but if it's hair or something like that, or a wig, <laughs> I don't even know. The little hair thing uh, coming out of the head already shows it's brown, so that means it's going to be earth. Uh, I like the mysterious look of the of the helmet. It makes it look really awesome, gives it kind of mysterious feel. 
But the weapon makes it feel kind of cheap, you know, it's the Horseman of War, so it should be, the weapon should be more impressive, and the the, uh, the weapons of the other armors you guys will be seeing later are far more impressive and better, in my opinion, than this little axe that he's holding. So that's a little bit of a downside here, I do like the armor, but the weapon is just my, not my taste all that much, it might be... Um, that it will be looking better in the game, but that's really my perspective on that. So we're going to be moving on to Vamin, which is the third horseman. And Vamin was known for bringing balance to the world because uh, that's what I think at least. I might be wrong, but it is using skills, uh, the skills of justice. So that's why Vamin on the shooters having skills and on the spears having shields. That looks, by the way, really awesome. Um, the elements of this armor is going to be water along with spirit. That's what I can see out of the colors, and um, the only thing I don't like about Vamin is really the the plainless. Uh, the, you know, the the armor looks kind of plain to me. I don't like the the helmet because it looks like a rhino, which is really strange to me. But uh, other than that, you know, I like this shield. The shield is very detailed. I, I like it a lot. It's it looks pretty nice. But what I like best about this is the weapon. It's a it spear. It's a it's a spear with skills. So it's a a skill spear or something like that it looks amazing and I really like the detail and the production value of these epic boss designs are absolutely sick too Gree has really stepped up their game and it's clearly visible and I really like it a lot so we're gonna be moving on to the last horseman and this horseman is also known as death because people also fear death people fear hunger people fear, fear diseases people fear civil wars and of course people fear death and death mostly and did you know that people actually did it a test in which people were most afraid of these days is public speaking coming on number one it's actually pretty amazing so i'm very happy that i'm not afraid to, to speak in front of an audience but it's just a so little something that popped to mind when talking about this but death people are afraid of death i am also afraid of dying i don't want to die i have much more content to show you guys but this armor looks absolutely stunning i love the way it looks like so much the, the weapon in particular, the little sight, the air sight, um, it's absolutely amazing. I was a little bit flabbergasted when I saw this armor. I thought initially it was going to be a, something like a, 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 a Soul Shard Raymond-ish kind of feel or Soul Shard Necromantle uh, because the helmet kind of looked the same and I thought it was going to be Spirit Mono like a, a single spirit element but it's going to be air it's clearly visible right now what i also am curious about is the little halo in front of the back of the head of that of the death armor um i think the armor looks very impressive the the, the color combination is absolutely looking nice uh the shield i think the shield has been a little bit more purple in there because it's kind of like i don't know how to explain that but it's just what i feel uh, but I like this armor a lot. I'm going to keep this armor for sure. I might even use it in my lineup. I'm not entirely sure about that at all. But um, this armor, spirit and 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 what uh, spirit and air. So I really suggest you guys level up pestilence once again in order to take down the famine and of course death in the end. So these are the epic boss armors of the horseman events. So let's actually move on to the epic armor. So. <clears throat> The first epic was already reviewed, that was the uh, the Revelation ropes, right? And that was essentially replacing the Soul Shard Necromant. It was really nice of Slashy that he uh, kind of placed in there what kind of armors they would replace. Uh, the second one looks really ancient, mysterious, kind of strange. It feels like Quasimodo is like hiding in there because I don't know about the headgear. It feels that the headgear is too low to the shoulders, like too close to the shoulders. So it really feels to me that Quasimodo is, is like hiding in there or something. And you see a picture of him right now, then you know who I'm talking about. The, the guy with the big back, uh, the, the big back, uh, the, the big back, yeah, the big back. <laughs> that sounds really strange, big back. It sounds like I'm talking about a huge back, no, big back. Uh, and... and, and Anyway, talking about this epic, uh, really like the weapon. the weapon. The weapon looks amazing. I like that it's like black in, in, in front there. And the little symbols, the hieroglyphs uh, in there like riding up and showing you guys the little symbols and signs. Uh, it seems that this armor is going to be fire with air. I wasn't entirely sure because of the... Uh, of, because of the... Um, because of the wind type elements and people actually assumed that this was going to be a six star because it actually would have been uh, fire air and water 
or something like that or or earth or something like that I heard people saying that and it was really ridiculously uh, ridiculous to me uh, it's not going to be a, a three star element uh, if they would that would be pretty cool but I don't think they will actually do that um, but I really like the way this armor looks uh, a lot but it's kind of it's kind of that I wouldn't use this in my lineup if I could choose between the armors that I wanted to get because it's not looking all that awesome but it looks pretty impressive to me so the next epic is actually an epic that is water with fire and that's obviously visible in here um, this should potentially replace the blaze stone mantle uh, the epic I just showed you guys would potentially replace the curse man shroud of course it really depends on stats and statistics but uh, the next one should potentially uh, replace the blaze stone mantle um, I don't like this armor at all because um, it actually does have a reason for me it's like I think they put a little bit like blue in here and a little bit red in there and a little bit more blue in here and a little bit more red in here so it really seems to be that they kind of like I don't know it's just not my kind of thing um, I really like when when armors have the, the color like incorporated like balancing out like very zen like uh, put together and I don't really get that feeling with this armor for myself um, also the fact that I don't like the weapon as well it looks like it, it's a staff and I don't like staffs in Knights and Dragons so yeah I, I just I don't really like that epic I can imagine that some of you guys actually do like this epic a lot um, especially because of the headgear being all in flames I think that is actually pretty cool but just the color combination is a little bit overwhelming that's the word I'm looking for overwhelming um, so we're gonna be moving on to the next epic and this epic is actually my favorite and you might be surprised with that because it doesn't look all that impressive but I'll tell you guys why this one is my favorite so we're talking about the spirit and earth type epic and this epic would eventually replace the druidic plate mill right so um, what I really like about this armor uh, is that it looks kind of plain it really looks like a defensive wall it looks like it's a general or a guardian of something and that just has been awakened or, or, or woken awake, awakened or is it awakened or awoken it, I think it's awoken so um, it, it seems that this warrior or this this plate mill type of dude has awoken from a, a, a slumber sleep or something like that I'm, I'm like running my imagination while you guys might, might go like what the heck is reversal doing but I'll just give you guys my opinion about this so the weapon looks really cool I like the little banner at top there it looks really amazing um, but what I like the most about this armor is that the spirit is really well incorporated in this armor because you see in the on the plate mill you see um, on there you see the little like I don't know the little roots I don't, I don't even know what to call them. There Are they roots or something like that? They are highlighting purple. And I really like that a lot. It really gives this mysterious type of feel. And a very ancient type of feel. And the weapon just looks amazing. And, and it, it, if this would be an offensive type of armor. I would be like. I would be so surprised about that. I really think this is going to be a very defensive armor. Because it really shows that it, this is a defensive armor. So really like this armor very 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 much and this is really one of the armors that i wish i can get in the future but hopefully i'll be capable of getting that but um, you guys will be finding out in future episodes but these are the armors so out of the um out of the epic boss armors my personal favorite out of the three that we guys uh, showed you guys is death and the favorite out of the uh, epic armors of course is the third one the spirit and earth type so the question of the video for me to you guys is going to be out of the two categories the epic boss armors which one is your favorite in there and then the epic armors which is your favorite in there so feel free to share your op opinions and thoughts and everything in the comment section below i'm very curious to see and uh, wh what is your favorite and also tell me the reason why you think it's your favorite because i'm also very curious to that D just don't don't be like yeah this one's my favorite and not tell anything else besides that but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm pretty much looking forward to uh, towards these epics. I think the first epic is already going to appear in the next chest that will be coming out tomorrow. So um, yeah, going to round things off here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure if you guys like this video to boom, give it a thumbs up. This is Ivor Versa for Knights and Dragons. I'll be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.